Like a stranger Said you see me later But you never call back I've been getting faded Running out of patience But I know it's alright I'll just keep on waiting Till you come ride with me Ride with me Girl, you can vibe with me Vibe with me Girl, touch the sky with me it's a hot day today, hey guys. Uh, Alright, so today's video, we're going to be doing an install or applying a product called Ammo Reflex onto my dad's Corvette back here. So this stuff, from what I understand, is not ceramic coating, but it's in that playing field of ceramic coating. It's actually something my buddy picked up for his two bikes, and he really likes this stuff. So if you're our first time applying into a car, um, once again, this is my dad's Corvette C6. Um, I think he's going to be a good candidate because he works a lot and he just, to be quite honest with you, to be quite honest with you, I'm quite frank, he doesn't really hand wash his car too often. He takes it to a guy that kind of hand washes it and hand waxes it. Just not enough. So hopefully applying this, this type of ceramic coating or this layer of protection will make it a little bit easier when, we're, when he's, whoever's washing it, just to do a simple hand wash and hand dry. So I already kind of start it hosing it off and I'm going to re-hose it off and we're going to go ahead and get this car washed up probably clay it too and then we'll apply this um, product we'll let you know what you guys we'll let you guys know what we think of it so let's get started all right guys I'm going to go ahead and hook up this chemicals guy uh, soap cannon I did a whole video on this actual product with my charger scat pack I'll link it below check it out it's a great little thing um, to use before you actually wash the car I did in my video mention that I only used this and dried the car up and it did a pretty good job. Only recommend that A if you previously cleaned the car like a day before or maybe if you like air dry it off. Um, just be careful. It really is supposed to be for before you clean the car you're supposed to use this to kind of get all the gook off. So let's go ahead and hook this up and start squirting down the uh, Corvette. The beautiful thing about editing, guys, is a snap of the finger, this whole car will be soaked up. And voila! Check that out, right? Don't you wish this could happen in real life? All right, let's get it. Uh, let's get it uh, hosed off. With me, vibe with me, girl. Touch the sky with me. Fly with me, girl. You too pretty for these other guys. We gonna have some fun tonight. Alright guys, I did a quick wash on the wheels. Craig is still playing over there. Um, I'm going to focus on the wheels a little bit later once the car is sort of dried off. I can really focus on some of the imperfections I see. I want to have like a chrome cleaner. For now, I'm going to use some steel wool. I'm going to use the steel wool on the exhaust, guys. Um, it's important to know that you have to be careful what you use this on. I'm not going to use it on the wheels. What's that? What, what does that mean? Why am I making? Okay. So explain to the audience that I'm recording what you're talking about. 
Okay. Okay, what's the number again? Quadruple O. Quadruple O. Alright, guys. So, like Craig said, Quadruple O is the type of grade you want for the steel wool when you're using it on something like this boiler exhaust here. Once again, the boiler exhaust is stainless steel. That's usually what you want to use this for. Um, obviously, I'm sure I don't have to say that you're going to use it on your paint, um, <laughs> but I guess you never know who's watching it. Um, I'm not going to use it on the wheels because they're actually chrome. And I don't. That's kind of risky. I don't want to take that risk. So, like I said, I'll look for a chrome cleaner. It's important, guys, to make sure this goes nowhere near your bucket. You don't want any of the little residues falling into your bucket, and then obviously you're washing it with steel wool, which you're just better off leaving your car dirty at that point. So. What you want to do is you want to take your steel wool, don't mind me, let me see how I could do this since I'm holding a camera. What I was trying to explain guys is you'll want to let some soap kind of just drip onto the steel wool. Once again, you don't want this near your bucket. You don't want any of the stuff to fall in there. So, it's pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and clean up this. The exhaust should look really well by the way. Steel wool does a great job on stainless steel. Um, get everything off real nicely. So let's go ahead and do this. Busy for the night, just tell your friends anything you want, and you know I got it. Everything on me, don't reach for your pocket. I know you a good girl, never do you wrong. Living in my own world, busy making songs, thinking about you every day, wishing that everything would go my way. But I've been searching and searching again. I'm looking for love, I'm not looking for friends. Wondering if you really might be the one. You know that you perfect, you shine like the sun. You making me chase it, you know that I run. I'm never gonna stop till I stop having fun. Hey. You've been acting like a stranger, said you see me later, but you never call back. I've been getting faded, running out of patience, but I know it's all right. I'll just keep on waiting till you come ride with me. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and work on this a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you the quick improvement I already got. Here's the sign I didn't even touch yet. Especially, in particular, the insides, which you can see is just, uh black and the inside of this is coming along real nice so uh, obviously when you're done before you continue back working on your car you're going to want to wash your hands uh, like I said you want the stuff off your hands you don't want it near your paint or matter of fact any other material it's really only for stainless steel so but this is coming along real nice let's uh let's move on to the next step guys Got it. Everything on me, don't reach for your pocket. I know you a good girl, never do you wrong. Living in my own world, busy making songs, thinking about you every day, wishing that everything would go my way. But I've been searching and searching again. I'm looking for love, I'm not looking for friends. Wondering if you really might be the one. You know that you perfect, you shine like the sun. You making me chase it, you know that I run. I'm never gonna stop till I stop having fun. Hey. You've been acting like a stranger, said you see me later, but you never call back. I've been getting faded, running out of patience, but I know it's alright. I'll just keep on waiting till you come ride with me, ride with me, girl. You can vibe with me, vibe with me, girl. Touch the sky with me. Looking good already. Looks pretty good from here, huh, man? Oh, yeah. So, we gotta polish it and then actually use the ammo. Was that called ammo protector, you said? That's the name of the brand? Reflex. Reflex. Which is why you guys clicked the video. So, we're gonna get to it. 
So I'm going to show you guys how that works and what we think of it. So, um, Real quick story though, just since you just started the startup of this car, it's pretty funny. Real quick, my dad, who acts like he doesn't have like the same car passion that I do, he's a little... I mean, I've been doing this, I've been into this since I was 17. It's always made him a nervous wreck, you know, fast cars, yada yada, loud cars. He asked me for an exhaust, and he said, you know, I don't want anything loud. I don't want it the way you like it. I just want, like, an exhaust. So I said, all right, I'll get you the quiet. I'll get your boiler. They make a pretty quiet exhaust. Put it on there. You just heard it start up, guys. And hilariously next, like, the next day after we installed it for him, he says to me, is there anything you could do to make it a bit louder? So... That always cracks me up. I love telling that story. But let's let's move on the video. Let's get this thing started and uh, get to the meat and potatoes. All right, guys. What does the audience need to know about polishing? I have no idea. What's a buffer? Is that a buffer? It's a uh, orbiter. Dual action uh, buffer and polisher. Right. And the cool thing is, anybody can use this tool, right? For the most part, yeah. Without too much worry of damaging your feet. Because we're only burning using through it. Right, because we're only using a polish, guys. So this is, uh, keep this in mind, this is what you want to do when you're uh, not a professional detailer. And it does really good work, so. later all right guys we're actually gonna get ready to apply the ammo protector whatever the hell this product's called uh, girlfriend swung by she washed and waxed her car real quick so let's um, Craig's just finishing up just making sure the car is absolutely bone dry before we apply the product so uh, we polished it we washed it I mean we did the interior best we could anyway you know believe it or not guys this is an 05 so this car's Way more than 10 years old. Uh, well, actually, yeah. 13. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's an old car, but it looks great. It's, you know, one generation older than the newest Corvette out. And it's, you know, in this color, in this spec with the black top, it's a good looking car. But, um, all right, let's go ahead and let's apply this product, guys. And tops down, guys. So let's go ahead and grab. Why can't I remember the name of this stuff? The ammo pr protector? Ammo Reflex, Jesus, is a good, I am not sponsored by this product, and you could tell, because I don't even know the name of the damn stuff, so. So yeah, that little bottle right there, that's it. Um, do the not, you're not supposed to use a whole lot. Um, this whole bottle, Craig, you say it's good for how many cars? They say five to six cars. Five to six cars, that little bottle, so, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and apply it, and Craig is going to actually tell me how this stuff works and then we'll show you guys how to apply it and then we'll tell you guys uh, how we like the finished product. So let me say this guys, if this guy's wearing a glove, you probably want to wear a glove because he's not about safety to be honest. So <laughs> if I see him put a glove on, I'm going to recommend to you guys that you also put a glove on. Um, Alright, so I'm going to be what, wiping this stuff off as you apply it? In a couple minutes, yeah. Okay, so what, this is, we treat this like wax essentially? Wax on, wax off, huh? Yeah, all by hand. On and off easier than wax. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, guys, let's uh, cue the cinematic. Hopefully, the cinematic. Uh, cinematic. cinematic. I hopefully, I should do a video on how not to speak English. That's what I should do. All right, guys, let's cue the montage, shall we? <laughs> guys I don't know if you could see this it's like wax it's real light but I just want to show you guys how easy it just comes right off I'm supposed to let it sit for a few minutes before you wipe it off like I said it wipes off real easy as you could see here uh, I want to go ahead and finish this car up and uh, we'll give you guys our feedback here in a minute All right, guys. 
Craig is just finishing up the rest of the car. Um, we're pretty much done here, just checking it out. Want to give you guys my quick feedback. Obviously, it looks great. It's easy to apply, easy to take off, which is great because you know I, I am by far nowhere near a professional. I, I can definitely wash and wax a car, but I get nervous. I wouldn't do anything. I personally wouldn't do anything advanced with any of my vehicles. I would take it to a professional or have a close friend that I trust that could really help out. So, but just applying this stuff, it's it feels really good. I wouldn't say it feels as, like it's pretty smooth. Obviously, this is actually really smooth. I'm not sure. It might be smoother than wax. And lucky for us, the woman's car was just wax. So that's tough. Her car needs some serious loving too. But it, it is freshly waxed. That's tough um, to figure out which one is. Now this car's got a smoother feel because we did more. We did more work to it. So. Uh, definitely has a smoother feel, but it's, it's close to wax. I, I would say it's pretty close. It's, I think I think wax is a little smoother. Uh, you are supposed to apply wax to this two hours later, so you put a nice layer of wax on here, and uh, it'd be good to go. I kind of want to just wrap the video up for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below this video. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more content on, on just what I do with my daily life with, um, well, I can't really say it from here, but my scat pack back there. Uh, I have a super in the garage, that garage. I got my Mustang behind me. And we're just always working on friends' cars. We're always doing things, going to the tracks and just talking about what's new and exciting in the car and auto industry. So if you like this video, obviously please hit that, smash that like button actually, um, and subscribe for more content. I will see you guys next video. Take it easy, I'm out of here.